Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So, like usual, we are trying to troll the day, and we have this pretty decent team here. Um, just solid stats all around, not much to say. I think the biggest trap here is probably Ophelia, say, rallying Kagero or Raisin, and then Azura. If they set it up in such a way where Azura dances and then Ophelia has pretty good range. So basically I can't have anyone in this diagonal, so everyone but Nino has to be cramped in the corner. And my plan is to somehow one-shot Kagero. Um, because Nino can tank a single hit of the cleaner plus boosted Kagero if I did my math right. <laughs> Especially since we have attack smoke. Um, so yeah, not sure if this is going to work, but this is what happens when you're fooling around, am I right? So I think we're going to do something along the lines of this, this, into this, just to get rid of that debuffing. It's actually not necessary, but I just have it so it's like that. So again, if the Ophelia trap happens, um, all my units would be safe. Orders, so let's go ahead and do this. Gonna go ahead and just go in. That's that's the meme for today. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, yep, yeah, whatever happens, happens. I'm not particularly concerned about how things go down, of course. In the worst case scenario, a lot of bad things happen, but we're just gonna go with it. So the idea is Nino has a nice juicy 40 defense on a defense tile. There's nothing to debuff her defense. So she's going to also not be hit by chill attack. That's pretty important because as you see here, Nino has 89 attack and Kagura will have 84 res bulk. If she did get, um, whatchamacallit, if she did get chill attacked, then she would barely miss the kill on Kagero. And I don't want to have Caden range because then Ophelia would attack and then get double danced and things would not turn out too well. So we're just going to hit end turn like this. I have no idea what's going to actually happen because I didn't actually compute anything. <laughs> but let the memes begin. Oh boy. <laughs> There's the rally, and there's the trap as I expected. Raisin's doing nothing, just straight up debuffing Ophelia first. Kagro actually doing jack. Holy cow, how did she do that little? <laughs> I'm genuinely confused there. Oh wait, she got panic ployed by a, a panic manner, didn't she? Oh man, galaxy brain plays, boys. Uh, memes aside, 45 HP, all right. So we can do this, um, and I think we're just going to go ahead and prepare to grab the ether structures. We're just smiting Kaden, not too big of a deal. And there we go, smiting Kaden, and Nino can finish off Azura, and that was a very easy match. Kago did a lot less damage than I thought she would, um, because Nino had, granted Nino had 52 defense on the defense tile. <laughs> Um, you know, Kagura, I thought she was going to have, like, 70-something. I guess that actually does check out. Huh. I guess Nino is an incredibly bulky Kappa. Um, it didn't help that they had the fort disadvantage. So there's that. And we're going to our last match for this week. Let's see what shenanigans we get run into. This is a pretty, looks like a pretty good team at first glance. Uh, Casablanca. Definitely super strong. Um, definitely a pretty good counter to Nino. Of course, the one problem is that we still have a pretty good visible uh, attacks for that. Like if we, oh gosh, <laughs> let's not do that. Uh, so if we have Caden range, you know, it's 68 attack, which is still a one round KO on this guy. <laughs> That's just silly. Um, so my obvious, the obvious thing that's going on here, there's double rallies, so there's that. Yune is not going to be doing much. 
Um, she's probably gonna be the unit I leave last. Joel has no decent counter, right? Yeah, no distant counter. So my thought is just straight up go in, destroy Creed, because he's obviously too slow. Uh, we gotta of course avoid debuffs, and the only debuffs I see here are the pretty obvious ones. So I think the big thing is we have to be able to auto wall some units, which is pretty scary. Ground orders on racing is pretty cool. Uh, I should actually probably show the merge count, huh? I guess this person likes Lucas, maybe? <laughs> um, it's a pretty good Lucas, though. Not gonna lie, but of course, we're gonna meme. Um, these two shrines aren't going to matter much because Nino's not gonna get hit by any of them, I don't think. Let's see. Uh, so, a few arms only buff for attacks so at 67, because 43 is 110. I think either way, we just auto-live this, but we just have to be careful with Alm. Um, he's like, say for hypothetical purposes, he rallies Racin and then gets danced by Zera. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think we can have anyone in range to... We're not going to have anyone in range to buff Nino to be safe. Uh, Yune should be kind of whatever. We should be able to auto-one-shot that. And of course, we hit the uh, debuff on Tax Milk as well. So I think she's doing straight up zero, unless we're debuffed. We get debuffed somehow. Which I gotta check that real quick. So 67 plus 43 is 110. Nino would have 65 plus 57, which is 100, 122. Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Oh man, Nino is actually 104. Or 10. So she does actually get hit by Bright Shrine. So you might want to take that out. Um, I guess that's what we're doing. I'm going to take out Bright Shrine real quick. And uh, go from there, I guess. Because we're just going to go in and go after Creed. So uh, I think for the purposes of this, we'll want to use Azura, right? I could be wrong on that. But let me check. His range. So I can't have anyone here. So Nino has to take this out. So I can go here, dance, and go out there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. It's a lot of things to do in one turn. Um, just kidding. We don't actually have to do this all in one turn, but there's no restore or anything. We don't have to worry about that, uh, which is nice. There's no preemptive rallying or anything as well, so that's nice. That would be ridiculous, like, if you had a unit in range, and then you could, you, um... As you say. Someone had it, so... Uh, whatchamacallit. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> um, alright. We're gonna have to burn, like, two more turns to get set up, which is a bit unfortunate, but, I mean, we can't really do much about that. Uh, we're just going to do this. Do my best. This. Yes. And few arm here to get the attack buff. And air should probably get the heck out of here, but... <laughs> uh, we're actually fine if we just have her drop back, so that's, that's fine. Alright, here we go. Going to this turn. Ground orders looks pretty sick, though. Not gonna lie. Yes. Nino's getting debuffed for what? Res? Why is that? Oh, she's not getting buffed. Um, She's not getting buffed for res. So Nino's getting hit by chill res? Really? Is that how this is going down right now? Why is Nino getting debuffed by res? I think it's just because they had equal res, right? So while we're going in... I know that for much. Um, there we go. Ultimate memeing, Kappa. Uh, so I think we can just have, like, say Kaden here and then repo with Fiorm. Get the res, but oh, she's getting. Okay, okay, okay. I gotcha. 
And so now I think everyone's out of range. So here we go. Let's see how much damage Alm can muster up. Because obviously Yune is not doing much. Oh, he just goes in to straight up attack. He doesn't even rally. Yikes. Well, that's a yikes for their team. <laughs> that's all I get to say. And of course, we're trolling this Lucas. So what what better way is there to troll than bait with... Uh, <laughs> as you can see, we just overkill by a mile. And that is basically the power of memes. Uh, does, that's why I engineered Nino this way. So she's not completely reliant on field buffs to take out units like this Casablanca Lucas. Still a pretty good Lucas, but I mean... The memes are way too strong. <laughs> so, uh, we're probably not holding top 1k because this is, like, basically at reset. And spoilers, uh, we can still lose 80 lift on defense. But we are guaranteed tier 25 regardless of what happens. We, if we somehow get two losses, we're still in. So, that's cool. That's where I usually end up. If I had better defense matchups, I would be able to get into tier 26. But the... Rewards are pretty negligible outside from the tier rewards, so... I mean the uh, rank rewards, sorry. So that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is East Dragon. And I, I, I might record a video when Rogue Siege just starts at like 4 hours or something, but... Until then, bye!